Okay, guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Wrestling Slam. I'm joined by the team of Matt Murphy, Liz, and Joe, and Phil. And uh, we have a brand new show as always. Every Monday we record, we go out Tuesday. So a big thanks to everyone that has supported all the previous episodes via Wrestle Slam. And since day one, you know, we've got a great following, so we do appreciate it. Also, the show is brought to you by Manscaped. Uh, the best below the waist grooming is Manscaped, guys. There's a huge offer right now. We've got two weeks left. So if you want to get 20% off Manscaped via Wrestle Slam, just type in that promo code Wrestle Slam, guys. The performance package 4.0, it's it's leading the way. It's you know worldwide. There's men shaving the balls to perfection right now. And um, it's all up to that performance package 4.0 via Manscaped. And you can get a discount. 20% promo code Wrestle Slam. And on over to manscaped.com. Uh, free delivery as well. There's 8 million balls. 8 million balls that are fresh, silky smooth. You know what I mean? The perfect way to grip them, you know, smooth balls. Um, so, yeah, look, guys, get on it. 20% off. Two weeks remain. So if you want that discount, Wrestle Slam promo code. Uh, and a big thanks to Manscaped.com for coming on board via Wrestle Slam. Guys, we're going to go. Uh, how, are, how are you finding it, actually, Jerry? The last two weeks, how are you, how are you finding Manscaped? Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, as I say, you can't go around, Jerry. And I've, yeah. seen, I've seen a different smile on your face since you've uh, got your hands on them as well. Fresh, so fresh. And, 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 you know, I was in Vienna, um, obviously last week with uh, Mr. Philip Connolly and, you know, there was a little park about Phil walking around Vienna. He, he, <laughs> he, he kind of gotcha that bit different, you know, I felt there was a bit more room in that uh, underpants, you know, I think the, a lot more space. The, definitely. Sack, the sack was definitely smooth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bye. <laughs> He felt that fresh air hit that sack, you know? Yeah, did you use the ball deodorant as a, as a toner, like as an aftershave kind of thing? Because you can use it on your face as well. It's, just, yeah. it's like a moisturizer. It smells amazing. That's up to try later. It like, yeah. smells unreal. Yeah, really like, Anytime I, I'm like, what is it? And he's like, it's the ball deodorant. It smells unreal. You can put it anywhere, yeah. really. Like, Just don't put it on your balls and use the same hand and rub it on your face. I'm telling you, guys, man, Manscaped, they're not only fucking, you know, perfecting the world way, they're saving marriages, they're saving fucking, you know, relationships. They're, they really are the full. And uh, keep an eye out as well because they're actually, I think they're bringing out a deodorant and a body wash and shampoo and the whole lot so you'll actually Ooh. smell amazing for the whole day. We'll keep, we'll keep the fans updated. Don't forget, guys, 20% off via WrestleSlam code. Okay, head on over to manscaped.com. Um, you know, 8 million balls worldwide. It is incredible. And a lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, the Weed Whacker, which I love personally. They're all incredible products. So head on over to manscaped.com um, and do check out the products. So, guys, all elite wrestling. As always, uh, Tony Khan is always teasing stuff. You know, I don't know, is he kind of going too far sometimes? And is he kind of in overhead, but he's kind of always backed up everything he said. Uh, the rumor is to be there's a big announcement. No, Phil said to me recently he reckons it's not a wrestler, uh, it could be something completely different. But look, yeah. we know there's a big pay per view this weekend. Uh, Joe Rush, I'm going to go to you first. All Elite Wrestling, uh, Revolution, what's your take? What can you see happen? Do you reckon there's going to be announcements? Um, obviously, we've got Moxley against uh, Brian Danielson, some great stuff happening. What's your take first of all on the announcement? And the card itself. Um, regarding the announcement, it was, if it happens on Dynamite this week, I, I think it'll either be one of two things. It'll be the Ring of Honor thing, like Phil was saying, the, mm. the back catalogue and maybe revamping it or doing something with it. Or the, the New Japan deal that they've been trying to do for since, since before the pandemic, now that the people can travel back and forth. So I can see like a big super cup between Japan and America. Like They have the talent there to do it. They all they all get along really, like you know, Jay White's over and half the the Bullet Club are in America at the moment, so there's there's potential there to do something like that. Mm -hmm. In yeah. regards to Revolution, I think it's going to be unreal. Like, I think it's going to be the, the card is set up to be something special. Like even not not to take away from the title, like but you know I'm looking forward to like three or four matches more than the Hangman and Adam Cole match first, like mm -hmm. Moxley and Daniel, you know Brian Brianson or. Brian Danielson is going to be something you know that we haven't seen in a long time since they were Dean Ambrose and Daniel Bryan and WWE. So looking forward to that. Definitely. Um, definitely. Rick Baker and Thunder Rosa as well should be amazing. That would be a savage match. So I'm glad you you, you mentioned the the Britt Baker match. Now, Lizzie, I have seen with my eyes that Sesh Martin Martina is in Orlando. Um, 
We know yeah, she's she, in Orlando. We know she's a free agent. We know there's rumors that Tony Khan has bought Ring of Honor and, and the library and such. Any 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 lean way to maybe Sesh Mart Martina will be at the pay per view. Maybe she she's signed for all elite wrestling. Maybe she's the big announcement because we know she's making waves across Europe. We love her to bits. You know the quiz with Liz in Limerick City was something that people will never forget. That'll be talked about in 20, 30 years' time when, you know, the adults that were there would pass it on to the grandchildren. But look, listen, she is, um, she's a sensation. We love her to bits. She's in Orlando. Why has she gone to Orlando? She's beaching, she's sunning. Are we able to see Seshma arrive at All Elite Wrestling? Oh, my God. Let's hope with every fibre of our being that we do, because... We all love Sesh, you know, she's fab. And the one thing is, I mean, God, if there's some kind of a connection there with him uh, bringing a whole load of ring and honor, ring and honor, ring of honor over or, you know, taking it over. I mean, what a breath of fresh air would she be? Because she has the experience, there's no doubt. She has the ring in ring ability um, to go up against the best of them and she's multifaceted it's not just your normal you know women's match she's up for anything and has proven herself for anything as well she's she's super super talented there's so many layers to her and when you have a look around the the big guns if you like the AWs, the the ring of honors the impact and the wwe there is no character like martina there's not. There is nobody like her, and we're missing. We're missing that, and I think she would be an amazing fit in AEW. I really, really do. I can see her coming out, a la Mick Foley, with a bag of cans and a bag of tacks. Do you know what I mean? I can absolutely see her doing it. Um, I would be here for it, and I would love to see it for her. Definitely, it's box office. Like we know, Seth Mars. You, yeah. she can wrestle. You know, she's got an incredible incredible way about her you know she knows how to get the crowd going and i think personally right now in all elite wrestling they have an incredible female roster but you know i think seshma adds huge spice to that roster and that you look at that card you know what i mean there's there's some big matches obviously at um you know revolution but like you look at the match Britt baker you know dmd um obviously jamie header rebel and you know thunder rosa like i wouldn't be surprised if she turns up you know what i mean you look at that jade Carrigan yeah. and, and Ted conte match Probably not going to, you know, participate now, but I would not be surprised one bit, lads, if Seshma arrives at All Elite Wrestling. I would not be surprised. And she's in Orlando. She's, there. she's in Orlando with Jamie Hayter at the minute, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're buds, aren't they? But can, you, can you imagine now, you know, 22 years since uh, Maniac 2000 came out and it comes out at AEW, she's coming out to that song and that song explodes in America because new Americans never really got that song over there. It was more of an Irish and UK thing, so... Yeah. Can you imagine that being, you know, the, the next big song, like, you know, that AEW buys the rights to it? Wow. Mark McCabe is there somewhere like this. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to get Mark McCabe on if it does happen. Uh, I've, met, I've met him numerous times. He's a great guy. Uh, Matt Murphy. Obviously, look, we know there's a big one this weekend. Matt's the guy that's pushing to have all elite wrestling pay-per-views at the Mako Casino. Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to happen. I think it's, it's it's only a matter of time before we make it happen. But Matt, first of all, well, lads, if you don't have, have time, come on, make it happen. Uh, we've got an incredible card. Um, obviously, some great matches. There's, there's, I think there's over nine matches announced, which is incredible. What's your take, first of all, this weekend, All Elite Wrestling, and you know what match personally stands out to you? Well, obviously, I'd say, you know, knowing you so well, Brian Danielson versus Moxley could be the match for you. All right. Uh, you know, the one match stands out has to be that. Uh, John Moxley versus Brian Danielson. You're probably wondering, who am I going for? You know how that one a few matches, I always go for Brian Danielson. And you know how I always think, oh, I think Brian Danielson might win. Well, lads, for this one, I might actually go with Brian Danielson. And I have a pitch idea that probably will not happen. But let me dream that. Just let me have this one moment. I can imagine... Um, John Moxley get is about to get the win. He's like having the whole match to himself. The referee gets knocked out, and in the background, classical music plays in the background. Humor me. Lights go out, but it's I'm gonna butcher his name. It's, it's the right. Maestro. <laughs> Cla- Claudio, Claudio Castelloni, Cesaro is gonna come out, and he's gonna oh. uh, he's gonna cost uh, John Moxley somehow. And Brian Dance would pick up the win. 
Brian Danielson wins and himself and Claudio Castelloni becomes like this tag team to fix professional wrestling. That came to me. And if that happens, that's Brian Danielson is my favorite wrestler of all time at the moment. And you we all know that I'm a huge supporter of Claudio Castelloni. Cesaro. So if if they become Claudio tag Murphy, team, you look like twins. Claudio Murphy just comes for him. I, I mean, if he notices, I'm gonna be. Uh, let's let's move, on, <laughs> let's move on. Let's move on. If that happens, I will be delighted. But you know what? I don't know if that's gonna happen. But a lad can dream, lads. So please, please don't punish it. Come on. But it. that's the match that stands out to me. Good stuff. No. Philip Connolly, there's so many incredible matches. MGF versus CM Punk. No, the only thing I don't like about this match is yeah. the dog collar match. I think that's really taken mm. away from um, you know, the whole incredible promos and the trending and stuff. Now, always before I come on the episode, I always check to see what's 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 mm-hmm. you know trending on Twitter because Twitter for me is the elite of the elite because Facebook have taken over Instagram. They've taken yep. over um, pretty much everything, and you know Facebook always have that catch. You know they they want to they want you to pay money for people to see what you do, but Twitter is kind of openly, you know, yep. mad and stuff. But look, Bray Wyatt's trending. You know what I mean? We're seeing a lot of stuff trending. You know, Cesaro to All Elite Wrestling. Um, this is one of their biggest pay per views, Phil. As you know, cards incredible. First of all, what can we expect? You've often got it right when it comes to predictions via All Elite Wrestling. So what do you think we're about to see this weekend and what match stands out for you? Um, my tag team match, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, the thing is, it actually could be the match of the night. It's the funny thing. Yeah. <laughs> who's getting that no, to be honest with you I actually think Jeff Hardy's making his debut at this one so oh, yeah. I am say Jeff Hardy. yeah I think I think some way somehow he's in that six man tag for some reason yeah well look Jeff Jeff is in a good place at the moment he is in a really good place I think obviously we know a certain organisation made a big boo boo um, mm. and they should have probably looked into it a bit more but yeah I suppose you, you, you're saying Jeff is going to come to I think he's going to come very soon. Yeah. But um, also as well, MGF and CM Punk has. There's only one way to end that match, and that's him being choked out with blood pouring over his head for MGF. Yeah. So MGF is going to lose. MGF is going to lose. Yeah. But like, it, it's going to be debatable. Like, it's, it's it's you know what I mean. I suppose it's got so much to gain for MGF. Uh, the, 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 pro, so the promo, back. the promo taught me the whole how the match is going. Yeah. The other day. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Is he going to get booed? <laughs> no, he's actually going to. I actually think there's a face turn coming for him. Double turn. Yeah. I'd love a WrestleMania 13 in a moment. Double turn. I'd love it. Well, I, yeah. I want yeah. Wardlow to turn on MJF, but side with Punk and we'll have Wardlow and Punk be the heels. And then, yeah. yeah. MJF is a brilliant heel. Like, you know, it's hard. But, but can you just face imagine face. the visual of him being choked out with the thing with the blood pouring over his head? It's funny oh you mentioned guys. probably one of my favorite wrestling matches of all time has to be Bret Hart versus Stone Cold with the massive just like turn and that photo of Austin blood pouring out, refusing not to submit is iconic. So would that be the Stone Cold versus Bret Hart match of just MJF versus CM Punk? Yeah. Personally, I'm not falling for MJF's promo. And that's just me. Maybe he's trying to get into Punk's head, but I'm looking forward to for that match as well. I love so. it. I love it. I'm going to get some quick predictions, right? I'm going to go through the candidates and quickly. Um, yeah. Just just one answer, I suppose. Um, so, look, <laughs> All Elite Wrestling World Championship, Hangman Page versus Adam Cole. Phil, who wins that match? Hangman Page. It's filler. Love it. Uh, Jor, who wins that match? Hangman, yeah. Lizzie? Adam Cole. Uh, Titan needs to be on someone else. Yeah, I was going to say Adam I agree, Cole. but it's not happening. And Matt Murphy. Right, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Murphy, who do you have? Probably going to be um, Adam Hangman Page, but I might go with Adam Cole and have the Red Dragons win the tag team titles and have them like kind of like both top on AEW, similar to NXT. But that's just me. But all in all, I have a feeling that Adam's going to win this match. Yeah, mm. I think so. Yeah. Two Adams. Adam Interesting. Cole. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, Adam Cole actually, actually, spoiler, Adam Cole actually won a belt there yesterday on uh, BTE. He actually <laughs> won the BTE title there. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Uh, dog Connor Bash Sorry, that, that, what were we saying, Matt? I thought we were going to do a shut up. Yeah, well, Adam um, has a good like layout with the match. Adam knows his way around the ring. Adam can do certain moves that Adam can, but Adam can also do this movement than Adam. So it's going to be a tight match. So Adam is going to have a winner. Adam for the win. Uh, dog collar match, guys. So we have Punk, MGF. Phil, who's going to win that one? Punk. Matt? Yeah. I can hear uh, Mick somewhere in the background just yelling Punk, but I'm going to have to go with Punk as well. Lizzie? MJF. Ooh. Andrew? Punk. I'm going to say MJF as well. I think he's going to... This is the turning point for him. I really believe that. I think... Uh, Punk you think about it now, he doesn't need the win to get the turning point. I know, but I just think it's time. I think it's time. I think Punk... Punk has... He's done a lot, you know what I mean? I think Punk wants him to win. I think... You know the way... You know the way you have that whole Daniel Bryan team with Kobe... It's not like that, but I, I, I generally believe that Punk loves MJF. Behind the law, oh, yeah. obviously, it's, it's obviously, such a good pairing. Amazing. Yeah, such just, a good pairing. I just think Punk, yeah. Punk likes him. I really do. Um, so, singles match, AEW Women's World Championship, guys. Um, Rip Becker, obviously DMD there as well, uh, versus Tonda Rosa. Who's going to win that match? Very hard to call it, to be honest with you. Tonda's on a, an absolute rampage at the moment. That's the, that's mm. the thing. Um, I'm going to say she Britt Baker by a... pass to someone else. Yeah, Britt Baker is a screw job. Yeah, Lizzie. There's yeah, there's definitely. I think so too. I think um because they can't have Tonda Rosa look bad in this. You know what I mean? So I think if she wins, it's either going to be through a screw job or, or if she loses, she's going to be screwed out of it. Um, to make her so she doesn't look bad, but <sighs> really, really tough one to call. But I think Britt Baker is going to retain because of a screw job. Yeah. Or vice versa, a botched one. Yeah. Rose could win with a botched screw job. Jamie Hader. Yeah, Jamie. With the help of Seth Moth. Yeah, Seth Moth. 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 Seth now, next match can steal the show, given the fact it's a ladder match. Future TNT Championship shot. Keith Lee, uh, Wardlow. We have uh, Powerhouse Hobbs, uh, Ricky Starks, Orange Cassidy, and TBD. The TBD is the part that we all love. Who's it going to be? I think we've had... Ted, Ted DiBiase. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Junior or junior or senior? Who gets the show? Both of them. Oh, I love it. He came from a ladder match in NXT to AEW. I love it. I love it. Jar, what's your uh, take in this match? Keely. Keely all day. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, Lizzie, Keely? Keely, but I'd love it if Wardlow won. Mm. Yeah, I think a lot of people would say the same. Uh, Matt Murphy? I'm one of those people, so Wardlow. And Philip Conley? Ricky Starks. Ah. And Phil, I there? nearly said Ricky Starks. He's been fierce active this week. There's been a lot for him this week. Yeah. Yeah. Like the thing is, you you can make Keith Lee lose this match because he doesn't get pinned and he doesn't look weak. Yeah, well, that's true. And who's there? Who's Wardle the will have to power bomb him through a ladder or something. Uh-huh. Who's there? Who's the guest? Who's going to come? I in did announce it on Wednesday. I think. I don't think. I don't think they're going into the show with it, are they? No, I think they are. Not sure. Yeah. Not sure. Not sure. The talk is There's a lot of guys. On, a lot of guys have their ninety days up, so it could be anyone. Yeah. Cody. Definitely. Johnny Gargano. Let's yeah, go. acknowledge that Cesaro, he can show up at any time, so it can be Cesaro. Yeah. I'm going to go with Cesaro. Don't stop it's in me. Orlando, so they're all close by here. Yeah. 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 Jeff Jarrett. Um, right. <laughs> right. We, have, uh, we have a big one. Jericho versus Eddie Kingston. Uh, singles match, obviously. So, Lizzie, who's your take? Jericho or Eddie? Eddie Kingston needs this win. Yeah, he does. Really, really needs this win. Yeah, he's yeah. kind of flat at the moment. I agree. Um, 100%. Sure, Eddie. Uh, yeah. After that promo, Eddie Kingston was set up to win this match. There's no way they can talk. He, you know, make him talk. Jerk talk down to him so much, like that. I feel he loses. You know, it'll destroy him. Like so, he has to beat him. Oh, I agree, Phil. Eddie. I, I want Eddie to win, but Chris Jericho. 
love it, love it, <gasps> love it. Uh, Matt Murphy. I'm gonna have to go with Chris Jericho, but I feel like Eddie's gonna take at least sixty or seventy percent of the match to him. Yeah. So, yeah. Forth, so. yeah, it's gonna be an interesting match, definitely. Now, next one, guys. Obviously, it's um, it's the one we're all talking about. Brian Danielson versus John Moxley. Matt Murphy, I'm gonna go to you first. Um, who's your outright winner for this match? I remember when I said I think Brian Danielson's gonna win. Well, I'm going to be bold, and I'm going to say Brian Dennis is going to win. I gave out my prediction. Cesaro is going to come out, cost John Moxley, and they're going to be a tag team. And then if that happens, then everyone buys me a pint and say, well, well done, Matt. I will. You did it. Thank you very much. So that's my prediction. I'm going to have to go with Brian Danson, and I feel like that's going to be the night. That's going to be the match of the night. Looking forward to CM Punk versus MJF, but got to feel like that's going to be the match. The, these two lads know each other so well. Even back in the WWE days, uh, John Moxley, of course, brief time was the best in AEW. Brian Dance is the best wrestler of all time at the moment, so it's going to be a good match, buzzing for it. But I'm going to have to go with Brian Dance because Brian Dance, that's Brian Dance. Love it, Philip Connolly. Who do you have on that one? And I'm going to go. I'm going to go with a bold prediction, and it's going to be no winner. Ah, uh, Phil. <laughs> Wow. Mainly because both men are going to batter each other so hard that they will form a tag team. Mm. Mm. That's it. That's that's basically they're going to just blood. They're going to bail each other like around the place, and then it's just going to end. It actually wouldn't surprise me if it ends in a thirty-minute draw or something. Stop! I want to have nothing to say. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Are you reading my notes? No, no, I'm going. I'm taking my ball and I'm going home. I'm taking my ball to your church and I'm like, going for, home. For the story, for the story of this match, it makes perfect sense. Something similar to that. Yeah, if if they're going to be a tag team, if they're going to lead something, Brian Danielson has to win. He has to prove John Moxley because if Moxley beats him, Brian Danielson proves nothing to him, and he's not yeah. going to side with him. And they do need to team team up and form a stable with all the young guys because that would be fucking savage. Along with Cesaro. Definitely. Mm. Lizzie, what's your take on this match? I know there's a... Who fucking cares? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Phil just shat all over, but it's fine. <laughs> I was going to say, if ever a match needed a 30-minute time limit or a 60-minute time limit, it's this match. Because yeah. I yeah. was going to say the same. I was going to say no contest, but Phil was just reading my notes. He doesn't get his fucking stuff from Tony Khan and Vincent K at all, but he just reads my notes. But uh, yeah, I think uh, this, this is a match that could go to no, that should go to no contest because it's so hard to call and they absolutely are better off together. I have no idea. No, I love it. Jerk, same opinion. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Brian Danielson, needs, like I'm saying, he needs to win it. For them to team up in the future, they form that stable. He needs to win it to prove Moxley that he's... They're going to bleed, obviously. We know they're going to bleed, so... I think Brian Danielson eventually will win it. Yeah, no, I love it. Absolutely love it. It's a good, good prediction. Um, the next match, three-way tag team match, Philip Connolly. <laughs> we'll have the sunglasses on for this one, guys. Uh, Hang on now. Let, let, let's go first. This time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to let you take this one away. Obviously, we know the... You know, who's we, don't know the we don't know the third team yet, but I think Red Dragon are going to win. Red Dragon. Um, Bobby Fish. Young Bucks are really really. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I know. Oh I just think that this, this is one where the belts have to come off on because they've. I know. I know. I like them, but they've done nothing. Yeah, and you're yeah. going to give Jurassic, uh, the Jurassic boys, no, no looking at all, no. No, I think their time is up. I read Red Dragon are on a kind of a high, so I think, I think it's the way to go. Yeah, especially not, if they're going to feud with the boys as well. Yeah, no, yeah. No, I think a lot of people will agree. Joe, what's your take? Three-way tag team. Yeah. Definitely Red Dragon. I think Young Bucks will be the team announced. I think they'll come out. They'll be in that match as well. It'll, it'll build up to the story because, you know, they can feud afterwards for the title and for the belt six. Do you reckon we're going to see a stadium match with the Leaf versus the lads? I hope so. A double or nothing, I hope. I don't know if yeah. they'll have a stadium stampede match, but they'll have some sort of big, uh, you know, fucking war games style match game because, mm. you know, who better do a style war games than fucking Adam Cole and the two yeah. guys, you know? They were in every war games match until this year. Yeah. No, stadium, I can't wait for the stadium. So, oh, my God. Only a matter of time. Um, mm. Imagine Wembley. Oh, 
<laughs> things to look forward to. Uh, Matt Murphy, what's your take on the three-way tag? Who's going to do it? Are you going to agree with, uh, with Phil and Dur? I was going to say Jurassic Express because I feel like Phil destroyed all hearts of Jurassic Express fans all over the world. But going to have to go with Red Dragon. Mm. Um, I already said I'm kind of pulling for Adam Cole to win the world title. So I could see Red Dragon win this and they'll, the three boys will actually be one of the top players in AEW. Similar and then to Kenny Omega NXT. comes out at the end of the show to, to, to the show, the end of the show. Would you stop being so bold, Phil? <laughs> Reckon, yeah. Phil's, Phil's writing the script for Revolution as we speak. He's he's going to email it over to Tony later on. Yeah. Nah, but uh, that's my final prediction. I'm going to go with that uh, red dragon. That adds up the game. Well, there's, a, there's a dragon beat a, a, a dinosaur. What's what's more powerful? <laughs> We're going to have to find out on Sunday. Me too. Uh, Lizzie, what's your take? Who'd you have? Uh, Red Dragon as well, yeah, I think so too. But I wouldn't be surprised if Matt Hardy pulls double duty and him and Jeff are the other tag team. Imagine. Yeah, I suppose that actually makes sense because they're doing a lot of promotion at the moment as a tag team. We'll find out yeah. on Wednesday. We'll find out Wednesday though because they're not holding that one off. Be, yeah. Or somebody comes out and re- recreates the rest of me. moment. This tag team match is now a fatal four way. <laughs> <Woo! Stop. laughs> Imagine. I'd love to live that again. Um, Second loudest pop ever. Oh, oh God. That'd, that'd be hard to top. I also they it. wouldn't give it to him. Like, Who's bump thinking about it? They wouldn't give it to him. Like, you'll never hear anything like that again. No. I don't think no, so. no, no, no. It's just unique. Even the fans, when they went to the crowd, it was just... Oh. That's why I love wrestling. No. It brings the kid out of me. Um, right, six-man tornado tag team match. Another great match. Sammy, Sting, Darby Allin. Uh, my Hardy. It's a, showcase, it's a showcase match for Sting, but it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Who's going to take it? Obviously, Sting, Derby Allen, Sammy? No. Yeah. No. Oh, whoa. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's why people watch. No one can ever agree. In no, this. Why, you know what? You know, Sammy Guevara will probably get pinned because they want someone to feud him with. Yeah, Sammy, Sammy. Yeah, he- yeah. There's nothing going on there or something with Sammy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why our champ is in that match. I don't know why him and Andrade had the match for the title. Yeah. On on Rampage, like, will they yeah. yeah. hold off the, the pay per view? Like, that would be a great match. Yeah, that is kind of a match. It's you look. You look at the talent. You look at the talent in that tornado match. Like, you look at Derby yeah. Allen. You look at like uh, Sammy. You look at like. Um, Andrea, like, you know what I mean? They're, they're really good talent. I think they're really uh, stancing at the moment. They're, they're, that's not really where they should be, you know what I mean? But the thing oh, is, that's what happens when you start That's what happens when you start overflowing your company with loads of wrestlers. Yeah. They need to make more belts, maybe. Maybe one more belt. So, hopefully it is Ring of Honor so that he has his company for more wrestlers to go to. But, yeah. But it's, it's, it's another pay-per-view where the TNT title isn't on the line. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Strange. Yeah. I was I know I'm changing some what's the story with um with Mero, aka Rusev? Is he still in He's just coming back off an injury? Yeah, yeah. what could him an injury? Was that a tour bicep or something? Was it or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, it's just curious for the fans because I suppose some people well, he, he should be back in about a week or two. I'd say after the show's over. He could be in the ladder match. He could be. That's true. I think they might bring him back, actually. Yeah. They might bring him back. Ooh, Keith, Keith Lee against Mero. Ooh. Yeah. Epic power host. That would be Popcorn Express. That would be, be beautiful. Um, hopefully it does happen. Guys, I'm going to talk one more match. I know Lizzie's a big fan. I know George's a big fan. Um, good old Jed. Um, like she's, she's our fan. Like to me, you know, specimen why she's, you know, she's the full package. Um, obviously, she takes on Tay. Um, TBS Championship. Interesting match. We know Tay's kind of on a run, but surely Jed walks away at this one, Liz. Oh, without a doubt, I would say, without a doubt, and I would imagine with these, there would be some kind of offense put up, but there has been quite a push for Ty, uh, Ty Conti recently as well, but I don't know, has it kind of stalled a little? You know, like, I, I don't know, like, I, I don't know, do I care enough about her taking on the title? Yeah. That's not down to her, maybe it's just the way it's booked, but I just don't, I, I don't care enough about her taking on Jade for the title at all, which is why I, uh, she's not believable. And it's not down to size, stature, speed, and all that because she has it all. But like, they just haven't built her up to me as a credible opponent for Jade. I just, you know, it's just, mm, I, I straight away I was just like, yeah, Jade's winning that. Yeah, 
Yeah. You know, there is no like. Where is Ruby Soho then? Yeah, like I don't know. That's the thing. It's kind of similar to Liv Morgan, really, isn't it? Like Liv Morgan got a great push there. We thought she was going to win something in. Yeah. So like, yeah. I think Taya's kind of in that kind of context, and she, she's really kind of been. It's just kind of stopped coming up to her match. Like it's just kind of. I, I just don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I just, I'm just not excited for her taking on Jade, or I, I can't get behind her. Yeah. No, I agree. Um, Jor, what's your taking the match, Jade, for the win? Squash. Squash match, Jill win. Has to be. Yeah. We're all in agreement so for that. Interesting. Well, no, the problem is if this match goes any longer than five minutes, there'll be a lot of botches. Yeah. 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 We're going to play it safe, obviously. Um, right, I'm quickly going to switch because I know we're running out of time, guys. Um, there's, there's a rumour floating about that Vinnie Mac. Um, he's drinking the juice backstage and he is... Um, He's, he's up to no good. He's looking to get in the ring. This talks Pat is going to challenge him. This talks is a match. This talks Vince. Vince is 74. Is he or 76? 70, 76. 196. 196. 196 years I have a quick now. thing there, just really quick before you start this. Do you reckon <laughs> this is panic stations because Austin said no? Well, we don't Do you know reckon? He officially said no. Did he officially say no to the WrestleMania match? Well, the thing is, like, he's building anymore. up a tag match. Yeah, they seem yeah. to be building set and Kevin Kevin Owens as a tag team. So I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't know. Like, do you reckon Vince is going to happen? Vince versus Pat. I I have no idea what the fuck's going on there. To be honest, <laughs> I honestly, I have no idea what the fuck they're up to. Like, it's just like what uh, we haven't we haven't built any stars for the last five years except for Roman Reigns. What do we do? Uh, well, let's get Steve Austin back. Let's get Vince back. That's such good shit. Uh, who else can we get, brother? Uh, the Rock's too busy. Uh, let's find Big Show. Oh shit, we released him. This Mark Henry released him. They have nobody left. They didn't build anybody up to have any big matches. They have two shows. They filled. I forget two nights. Like. Four hour shows or whatever, right? Like, we're like, what do we do? And all the women's, I Becky like, and fucking and Charles both matches. Why is it night. like, why is an idiot dragging off defending a belt on one of the nights? Yeah, I know. Maybe I'll, he'll be on NXT Takeover, fucking stand and deliver at eleven o'clock Saturday in the morning. morning. Yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like they got an early copy of WWE Two K Twenty, and they just they pressed a random button on past wrestling. That, but that's yeah, that's, that's the thing they're, they're saying it might be like a fucking you know like not a cinematic match, but some sort of fucking mm-hmm. VR fucking you know fucking graphics all over. It. Like a, you know he won't even be in the fucking ring. Like it's just, just going to be something stupid. Like. I don't know. Oh my god! Interesting. <laughs> I reckon Vince is trying to piss off Shane Mac as well. Ah, oh, you're not getting a match. I'm going to be in the match. But like it's um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's, it's going to be interesting. I'm sure it's something that we bring up um in in the midweek show. But like many many has taken shape. You know, I'm all for night one and you know the two women's matches and it's you know what I mean. It's, yeah, that, that's a strange choice. It is, but I I, yeah. I, I, mean, I, I think it's a good thing in, in my opinion as well. But um. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Is, is Vince going to wrestle again? We'll we, we wait and see. I suppose it'll all be announced. Um, there's a lot to look forward to, guys. There's a lot to look forward to. Many is upon us. We know we have a big pay per view this weekend. Um, this week, we have a big show in Limerick. Phoenix Wrestling, uh, double header. And uh, as you said, look, we absolutely love Phoenix Wrestling. So, guys, have a great weekend. Uh, Phoenix Wrestling, make sure you get behind the lads. They're back in Cork as well very soon. Um, and we have a new one as well, guys. Monday nights. So tonight's dash one night's happening. Uh, Five Factory Pro. Looks yeah. unreal. Is it called Monday Night Wars? Yeah. Monday Night Wars, is it? Yeah. 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 We were yeah. shot with the cards incredible. You know, Debbie, um, Jay Money, some great people on that card. So we wish the team all the best up there as well. Um, don't forget, guys, manscaped.com, 20% off. Uh, WrestleSlam is the promo code. Don't forget to check out all our videos. Uh, comments. We want comments. If you want us to talk about anything, leave some comments in the videos. Sometimes we are showing, you know, we, we want comments. We want we want controversy. We, we want people to, to, to suggest what yeah, we, we get a debate going, really. Leave, leave your predictions for Revolution on the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. leave your predictions there. Well, Who's going to win? Do you think Matt's wrong? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think Lizzie's wrong? Do you think George's wrong? Do you think Phil's wrong? Look, well, all right. Do you think <laughs> Matt, Matt's wrong? How dare you, sir? What is what was I wrong? Do do comment and, and you know what I mean. Don't don't be afraid. You know what I mean. We we 
obviously, obviously, you haven't had a nice, a nice, you know, don't be really mean to us, you know. But look, we will get back, we will interact with the comments. Bing, bing. Uh, we'll read out your mean tweets if you tweet us, me stuff. We'll read them out on, on TV something, man. Yeah, we will definitely. Uh, last of all, before we go, Jur, you had a great weekend. I know we're changing the subject, but Jur, you were with Conor McGregor. Is Conor McGregor going to go to, to WWE in the future? Was Paige yeah. given any eye signal to say she's going to be in all elite wrestling again? I, that, I think Paige will get, I, I was trying to, I couldn't get a, speaking to her, like, but I, I hope she shows up in uh, AEW at some stage because she was supposed to have a match with, uh, well, she got engaged, didn't she? I think so. I think yeah. they got think engaged, they got engaged as well. Yay! In Dublin, maybe I think if possible. Yeah, really. I thought, yeah, that's class. That's class. I know they're coming to Cork as well, apparently. They are. They're on the train to Cork today. Yeah. Yeah, they're coming to Cork, so we will have to keep an eye out. We'll have to get paid down with us. But um, yeah, as you say, congratulations, Jer McGregor. You've done. You've done. You've done us proud. Jer Rush and Conor McGregor. Guys, check it out as well on the Sportsman's platform. I think I've done a quick plug. Uh, guys, we will catch you all midweek. We have a midweek show, and as always. <laughs> Every Tuesday, the show will grow. Um, so, yet again, thanks to everyone that has tuned in. We love you to bits. Check out Slam Wrestling, aka Wrestle Slam, on Twitter. We're also on Insta and Facebook. And leave comments. We want comments. Interact, yeah. engage with us. We'll happily get back. As I said, we love all the views, but we want more comments as well, guys. So, don't be afraid to leave your opinions from myself, Phil, Matt, Jarlis. Have a great night, guys. We'll catch you all soon. Bring on All Elite Wrestling this weekend. Evolution. It's going to be class. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.